Wait, one more, one more, one more question. What do you feel? How do you feel about um, uh, Zuckerman being picked as Time uh, uh, Person of the Year over Julian Assange when Julian Assange received, I think, at least ten times as many more votes from the from the people? I think that is such a great question, and thank you for asking it. I think it's a sad statement, and it's really speaking volumes to the level of poor uh, media and uh, uh, the level of uh, media entertainment as opposed to real journalism. And this is dangerous for our democracy. So uh, I think that Julian Assange should have won it, certainly, over Facebook. Besides, Zuckerman's old. How many years he's... How no, many Zuckerman's years? a young guy. He's a young guy, yeah. but uh, Facebook's not new. I've been on it myself. and I Right, was but he started, started when he was like 18 or no, 19. No, 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 but you know what I'm saying. It's right, not the, a phenomenon the thing, today. The, the thing that I'm saying is that Julian Assange, he is messing with people who do not play nicely. I mean, people. he is messing with people that literally can take him out, kill him, abduct him, uh, take him to an underground prison and torture him without any knowledge of where he is. That's scary. And this guy is, and he knows it. I know he knows that who, who he's playing with and how utterly evil they, these people are. And and you're going to give the, 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 the most interesting person to a guy who created a website? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a fair statement that emanates from our media to say, you know, we're brainwashed here. You know, that, that it's just a poor choice. And certainly Julian Assange has, has created a new industry of, to the people. of hackers that have hacked PenPal and MasterCard and, you know, have uh, come out to oppose on a level that nobody could ever have imagined. So I think it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, you know, a sad statement on the current, you know, media situation. Uh, a little bit, you got to go a little bit lower with that one. This one, yeah, down and you up. Yeah, there we go. And pull it tighter. There we go. Stinky cheese. There we go. Until we go home and we see us ourselves. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we're doing peaceful protests. I have like tambourines and stuff in my <laughs> bag. You know, I try to make it fun. Yeah. Is this going on the news? Yep. What channel? It's on YouTube channel. The channel channel where you're the news. <laughs> Don't waste time listening to the news. Be the news. And YouTube rocks. Yeah, exactly, man. A lot of funny videos. Exactly. Yeah. Because there are you should get a shot available. of the girl at the top. Why, why not? Huh? Girl, I'm so happy to see kids here. Oh, yeah. Miss Melissa, bringing the kids here. All right, guys. A lot of people. You got to go. All right. Watch your YouTubes and make YouTubes, man. That's a great shirt. Huh? I just, it'll be on my channel. It's one idea, 2112. Arizona State Capitol, Phoenix, Arizona, Oops. Maricopa County. A lot of different actions going on today, January 11, 2011. 1 11 11. Sounds like a lottery ticket, but it's really a horrible day because of uh, Guantanamo still being open. Nine years. We demand that the Department of Justice intervene with funding to put a closure finally to Guantanamo in Cuba. Maybe it would yell. This is what a Guantanamo inmate looks like. That's right, that's what a Guantanamo inmate looks like.
Take as much as you want, man. Oh! That's Today, beautiful. Guantanamo's been open for nine years. We're asking the Justice Department to intervene, to fund the closure, and take that stain away from our nation. Okay. Well, Obama's going to be here pretty soon. Tomorrow, is it? Tucson. He'll be in Tucson tomorrow. Oh, he's going to be in Tucson. Bye. At a memorial service. Well, that's that's more important. Yes. He has his priorities. Well, that's a pretty big one. Well, I know what he said he was going to close it. Well, he can't get the country to close it. Oh. How you doing? Yourself, Alan? Alan? Good good. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. How you doing? Oh, Lizzie. Lizzie, come here. Yeah, are you, what are, what are you? I never heard what you're saying. How are you doing? Sorry, the shooting. <laughs> They have to be. They have no choice because we're so bombarded with advertising that the only thing people respond to is, it, is shock. Really, it's unfortunate. So this is, I mean, it's obviously a good place to stage a protest, but it's not... We're not protesting. We're demonstrating for the rights of individuals not to be tortured. You know, that's that's really critical is that we understand that, you know, we're, we're, we are not protesting. We are demonstrating for the, those rights of those people. Well, what, was, what I was going to say is, is why, why this spot, you know, it's, it's, it's not the state of Arizona that's torturing people. Sure. Where, where would you have us go? No, no, I'm just curious what your thoughts are, why you chose... Because there's people here? You know? What, you know, if you, don't, if, you go pro, if you go demonstrate in the middle of the desert, no one's going to see you. And the whole reason why you demonstrate is, is, to, is, uh, is, is to use your First Amendment rights to alert the other citizens of our country that our, we're, our government is a criminal operation. Well, did, you know, since this is my premise, do you feel any trepidation that this memorial here for the congresswoman? Um, you know, well, every every group I've seen today has felt apologetic about uh, bringing up their issue, whether it's transplants or whatever, because it's such a sensitive time that it doesn't bother you. Well, what this has been planned for before, uh, you know, the unfortunate tragedy of uh, Miss Giffords. I mean, I, I feel very, you know. I, I, I'm very disturbed that this would happen. I mean, this is a travesty in our country. But what, what needs to be thought of is that this is a symptom of the disease that we are experiencing in our country. That's, it's, it's a symptom. Our government is a criminal operation, and so people are, observe the government being a criminal organization, and they attempt to do the same thing that our government is doing here at home. So it's a symptom of the disease that is uh, is pervasive in our country. Does that make sense? And so this event was planned before that, and so it's 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 unfortunate. Well, do you mind if I take your name? Yeah, sure. It's Thomas. Uh, Mario. C O S T A N Z O. Thank you. A N A N Z O. Sorry. That's okay. Most people mess it up. It's actually phonetically perfect, but right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I have a name I think people should be able to spell. Green blood, two syllables, but it's Green tough. Green Blatt? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Today's nine years. The first enemy combatants went to Guantanamo, Is that right? Cuba today in two thousand two. So hundred and seventy are currently still there and about 50 are Yemeni that have been cleared for, there are at least 50 that have been cleared for release. And we will be indefinitely in detaining them at this moment if people like us don't bring the educational part up and tell Here, get over here. Yes. Yeah, because he's with NPR. Oh, I see. So. Yeah, okay, well, 
Yeah, so, I mean, uh, we're in D.C. today. We're in Miami down at the Southern Command. We're also in Berkeley and Gainesville, Florida. So these, this is a national action here representing nine years and these failed policies. What we're also advocating is that the Department of Justice take their funding if Congress is in such a bottleneck and, and close Guantanamo. It's a, it's a stain on the soul of our nation. So that's our what we're advocating right now. This is no different really than what we did to the American Indians. And certainly the other thing I'd like to point out is today we also want to uh, shed light on Private Bradley Manning that is in detention in Guantanamo, Virginia under torture-like conditions. He's one of our own soldiers that is allegedly accused of this WikiLeak, which I'm very proud to hear the truth. And, uh, you know, he's being held in solitary confinement 23 hours a day. And we want to point that out, that uh, this is one of our own. And, uh, you know, ending these wars would end these horrible policies of extraordinary ambition, torture. So the war is, is really the core issue, but certainly uh, closing Guantanamo for our own spiritual healing. Now, how, how disappointing is it for you coming up on the what, first anniversary of Obama's pledged end date? You know, it is, it is really very sad, but I, know, I, I, I can't tell you how disappointed I am. So I work harder every day. Uh, it, it is very disappointing, but I, that's why we're advocating for the Department of Justice to allocate some of their billions. And there are countries that will take these people. So uh, release the people that haven't been charged, and it's disappointing, and I want to guide the president into the direction that the administration needs to go, and that is restoring some justice, because we are not the beacon that uh, you hear of now. We're not the shining light on the hill anymore. We're not. And, and you know, we also want to bring attention to Bradley Manning. He's a 23-year-old being held at Quantico, Virginia. And, you know, it's torture. Solitary confinement would be torture. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you.